section 3.1 is going to be graph and linear equations. First of all, we're going to look at our Cartesian coordinate system, and this is going to be um, quadrant 1. Then we have quadrant 2 right here, quadrant 3, quadrant 4, so they go counterclockwise. Our origin is the point zero, 0, This is going to be our x-axis, and this is our, going to be our y-axis. Ordered pairs are always represented as an x, y, so we're going to go on the x-axis. So when we plot number 3, we go on the x-axis 3, and then on the y-axis 2. So 3, 2 is over 3 on the x, and then up 2. So the ordered pair 3, 2 is right here, and I'm just going to name that one A. B, C, D, E, make it a little bit easier for us to name these things. So this is point A. B is going to be, go to negative 5 on the x-axis. Negative 5 is right here. And then up 3. 1, 2, 3. Negative 5, 3 is right here. And that's our B. Our C says go 5 and a half on the x-axis. So I'll come over 5 and about a half is right here. And then it says go down 4 negative 4 on the y-axis. So that's approximately right here. And D says go on your x-axis, stay at 0, but on the y-axis go to 3.5. So this is falls on our y-axis, D. And E says on your x-axis go to negative 2, on the y-axis go to negative 4, and then label E. So that's just a little bit of practice plotting points. Okay, the next thing they're going to ask us to do is to determine whether each ordered pair is the solution of the given equation. This is going to be like two separate problems. First of all, we're going to check this problem, this ordered pair, and then the next time we'll check the other one. So when I want to substitute, this is my x and this is my y, I want to substitute them into the original equation. So y equals 3x minus 5 is my given, x is 0, so I'll put 0 right there, and y is 5, if I put a 5 right there, I'm going to drop everything else down and leave it exactly the same. So I have 5 equals, well 3 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 5 is just minus 5. Does 5 equal negative 5? No, that's false. That's not a true statement, so this one does, this order pair is not a solution. And now I'm going to try this one. This is like a second two-part problem. I take my original equation that was given to me. I'm going to plug negative 1 in for x. I'm going to plug this one in for my x and this one in for my y. x is negative 1, y is negative 8 bring down everything else exactly as it is and then simplify so I have negative 8 equals negative 3 minus 5 negative 8 equals negative 8 since this is true I would say yes this is a solution so negative 1 negative 8 that ordered pair is a solution and we said number 1 since it was false no it is not a solution all right, we're going to do the same thing with number three. We're going to substitute those values in. So if I have 5x minus 3y equals 9, I'm going to attempt this first order pair. So I'm going to put 0 in for x. I'm going to put 3 in for y and solve. So that's going to be 0 minus 9 equals 9. Negative 9 equals 9. That is going to be false. So no, it is not a solution to this equation. So I'm going to start over, take my original equation, where x and y are at, I'm going to substitute these values. So I have 12 fifths for x, and I have a negative 1 for y. Over here, when I simplify fractions, when you multiply, you can cross cancel and divide a 5 out of each. So I just have 12 plus 3 equals 9 
15 equals 9, that's also a false statement. So, no, this is not a solution. So, neither one of the ordered pairs are solutions in number 3. Okay, number four just says graph each linear equation. So there's many different ways to learn a graph, and we're going to learn multiple methods. But this first time in your original um, attempt, I usually teach you how to graph by plotting points. Okay, so we'll make an XY table, and we'll pick values for X, which we can pick any values we choose. If we wanted to pick negative 100, we can choose that. If we want to pick 55, we can choose that. But it's usually just best if we keep it simple, and I usually like to pick one on the negative side, and one on zero, and one on the positive side, and keep it very basic. Now I'm going to take those values of x, substitute them in to my given equation over here, and solve for y to get ordered pairs. Okay? When my graph given equation is not solved for y, I like to do that first. Um, just as it makes solving a little bit easier. So if I want to move everything over and get y by itself, I have negative 2y equals negative x plus 4. And then now I need to get uh, y by itself. So divide everything by negative 2. So now I have y equals 1 half x minus 2. Okay, so if I take that 1 half x minus 2, and I'm going to start with negative 1. So, y equals 1 half x minus 2. Everywhere x is at, I'm going to put, this time I'm going to put negative 1, because I'm going to substitute this value in right here, and solve it. So that gives me negative 1 half minus 2. When you put that in, you're going to get negative 2 and a half. So that's about negative 2.5 as a decimal. It's easier to graph decimals than it is fractions. So if you want to convert this into a, a decimal for your graphing purposes, you may do that. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. y equals 1 half x minus 2. Everywhere x is at. This time, I'm going to put 0 in. So it's just going to give me 0 minus 2 is minus 2. So that's my second ordered pair. I'm going to do it one more time. I think course compass only asks that you plot two points, but the third point kind of helps you check your answer. So if I plug a 1 in for x, because I'm doing this one now, I'm going to get... 1 half minus 2, which is a negative 1 and 1 half. If I made it into a decimal, it would be negative 1.5. Now I just want to graph these as ordered pairs. So I'm going to graph the ordered pair negative 1, comma. My first ordered pair is going to be negative 1, comma, negative 2.5. So I'm going to go negative 1 on the x-axis, and then down 2.5 is about right here. Okay, my second ordered pair is going to be 0, negative 2, which is right here. And then my third ordered pair is 1, negative 1.5. So if I go over 1 and then down 1.5, and, and you can see those are pretty much in a straight line. I'm going to get my line tool and then draw a line through these. And that's how you graph plotting points. Number five is one of our special cases. It's an x equals. x equals some number is always, always, always going to be a vertical, a vertical line. Okay, and that's something we memorize. But also, if you have trouble with that, if you imagine your x, y axis, and it says x equals four, that means x equals four everywhere, everywhere. X equals four everywhere. Then you can pick any values you want over here for y, negative 1, 0, and 1, and you would have 4, negative 1, um, 4, 0, 4, 1. It doesn't matter as long as x equals 4. So we know that x equals 4 is a vertical line um, by definition. So we go to x equals 4 and we draw a vertical line.
there and we're done so that's one of our special cases and you memorize x equals some number is a vertical line